Snake Man Luffy versus Katakuri Charlotte might be the best fight in the entire One Piece series. Yes, maybe even better than Luffy versus Luchi. Oh, One Piece chapter 895, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. This was an epic chapter of One Piece. Next to seeing Carrot transform into her Sulong form, I have to say that this is without a shadow of a doubt my favorite chapter from the Whole Cake Island arc as I have been waiting begging, salivating for an entire chapter which is going to be devoted to Luffy versus Katakuri. No cutting to other events, no goofiness, just raw, pure action. And we totally got it in this chapter, and on top of that, we got a brand new form for Luffy. That's right, another variation on the Gear 4th, we get to see Luffy the Snake Man. And unlike his original Gear 4th form, this one is a little slimmer, a little faster, he has longer, more wild hair, he looks like frickin' Blanca from Street Fighter now, and he is also able to make use of an ability that we saw in his battle with Doflamingo, an ability which was known as the Culverine, where his arm would be able to change angles in mid-air without having to bounce off of a wall. Here, combined with his speed, he is able to use it to great effect, and that is why he is known as the Snake Man, as now his limbs just move and bounce all over the place and you never know what direction they're going to come from. His fist might fly right past your face, but then it could come up from underneath you and just hit you out of nowhere. It makes him really tough to predict. That in Katakori does not disappoint at all. He also brings his very own bag of new tricks to this portion of the battle, getting to see some of his unique abilities, such as the Diced Mochi ability, where he's able to inflate his arms, cover them in spikes, and infuse them with hockey, basically transforming it into a massive mace. And he's able to also use this to an incredible degree, where he can grab opponents, spike and impale them, swing them around, and slam them back down down into the earth where they came from, and it always leaves a big explosion, and it's always really awesome. This chapter right here was also simple, it was just Luffy and Katakuri beating the freaking crap out of each other. That's really all there is to this chapter, that and just seeing a lot of cool new techniques. We got to see the Jet Culverine, which is a much speedier version of the Culverine attack that we've seen before, which manages to catch Katakuri off guard. We even get to see another big technique from Luffy, which might have one of the coolest names ever, and Kill Bill fans are absolutely going to love it. It is the Black Mamba, which is basically just a super-powered, fast version of that technique, and it all ends with him unleashing the King Cobra at the end, which has a really great visual and easily one of the best art spreads of this week's chapter, where they're both getting ready to hit each other with their biggest, strongest moves. Katakori is using the Diced Mochi, the giant mace arm, and then you have Luffy using the King Cobra, which flies past him, comes back around Katakori, around Luffy, and getting ready to build more momentum as it comes off of an angle, as it prepares to hit him point blank in the face, and that's the end of the chapter. They both just unleash these huge techniques on each other, and then it ends. And since something really cool happened and we want to know what happens immediately after, the next chapter is going to be on break. Isn't that how it always is? It's insane, and so was this week's chapter of One Piece. So, what's the rundown on this week's incredible fun chapter of One Piece? I loved this one. I, I, I just simply cannot express it enough. This was definitely one of the most hardcore bloody battles that I've seen from the series. I can already see how they're going to play it out in the anime version. There's a scene in the middle of the chapter where they both just start trading blows with one another, and you get to see just they're both getting punched repeatedly in the face. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the final battle between Naruto and Sasuke, how it's like escalated to this like ridiculous point where these guys are just bringing on some extreme fisticuffs where they should already be dead, but they still continue to fight. And, you know, as awesome as Luffy's Snake Man ability is, I'm glad that it's not like just a win button. That could have been such an easy way to get out of this arc. For Luffy to have a form that just gives him so much more power than his enemy to just completely erase them from existence. But no, as cool as Snake Man is, 
This is not an easy battle for Luffy, and he gets hit just as many times as he get, hits Katakuri, maybe even more so. Katakuri was so awesome in this chapter. There are some little moments here that I really hope are going to translate well to the actual anime, just the way that he moves. Not only is he, like, dodging these attacks, which is already insane, but he's actually able to roll up his body into a massive mochi donut and roll around the place, and... Man, it's just such a great visual for his character. Clearly, he's mochi and donut themed, which I think is really funny. But he's able to get in there real quick and use his massive diced mochi arm, which is really devastating and powerful. The move where he sort of like lariats Luffy with it and swings him around and slams him into the ground was so great. But it was followed by Luffy just exploding out of the air and delivering another really awesome attack. I also loved when he actually did use the Black Mambo ability, the actual look of it, just seeing it bounce in these different directions all over the place. You can see Katakuri just sort of like almost dancing through the attacks as he's jumping over each and every one just to get right up in Luffy's face and hit him. It's just great. It's almost like looking at the storyboards for an amazing anime fight. That's what I really do truly love about it. And that's always what gets me pumped up when I read the One Piece manga series. I'm like, man, this is awesome, but whew, this is going to look even crazier in the anime version. I truly do hope that they manage to give it some TLC in terms of the production value. That being said, uh, my overall thoughts on Snake Man, I think it's good. Um, a lot of people I know are expecting it to be kind of goofy, kind of like the very first form where he's big and kabuki-like and bouncing all over the place. Um, this one's definitely a lot more subdued and, dare I say it, just badass. It's just awesome looking. I really do love the look of it. I especially love that his hair grows out and makes him just seem all the more wild while he still has like all of that smoke which is still ringing around his body. And Like I said, he's not completely slim like we usually see Luffy. He's still kind of beefy but nowhere compared to the first form, which implies, of course, that he is going to move incredibly fast. But again, like I said, it's really cool looking and super destructive and awesome, yet still Katakuri just continues to fight back with every single thing that he has. Really, the amount of choreography, speed, and movement and impact from this chapter just really left an impression on me. And uh, as I said, it might be my favorite favorite fight from the entire series. This combined with everything that they've done so far in the battle, you gotta admit, this is pretty freaking epic as far as One Piece battles actually go, especially because it's just so even the entire time. Like, even at the end of this chapter, I, I have no idea who's gonna win this battle. I mean, history will show that maybe Luffy will win. He is the main character of the series. He has plot armor on his side, but who knows? This could be an arc that could break a lot of convention. Can you imagine what would happen if Luffy actually lost? to Katakuri here, I think it would be insane. The reason I am going to give the edge to Luffy is just simply the number of new techniques that he's bringing out. It shows that he always has another trick up his sleeve, you know, Jet Culverine, Black Mamba, King Cobra, whereas Katakuri in this chapter just sort of keeps bringing the same old tricks to the book aside from his brand new Diced Mochi ability, the Diced Mochi Slayer, he chooses that as his final attack. Either he's so confident in the actual power of that, or we really have seen everything that Katakuri is actually capable of, which leads me to believe that Luffy might actually end up winning the fight. I mean, that, that's almost a guarantee, really, but that's kind of the way that I do see it going at this point. What I will say is this was just a spectacle of a chapter. It just exploded off of the page. Almost every single panel was incredibly exciting. Luffy going insane and not even thinking during the battle and just moving the entire time was really refreshing, just really pushing Katakuri back, but he is still so calculated in the way that he moves, and he's a giant mochi donut, man. What's not to love? This was epic. It's the only way to describe it. It's the most overused word on the internet, but still, it just it, it's just that. Just epic. Five out of five from me. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this chapter. What did you think of Luffy's brand new form, The Snake Man? Did you like it? Were you disappointed by it? What are your favorite brand new attacks that he used in this chapter? Who's going to win, him or Katakuri Charlotte? And what do you hope to see from the conclusion of the Whole Cake Island arc and what your hopes are for the future of the One Piece manga series? Thank you guys so much for watching this review. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay damn there, baby.